Welcome to another episode of Valheim. My name is Nilaus, and in this one, I will be showing you and uh, just venturing into the mountains. So the mountains is the zone after after the swamp, and we uh, cleared the swamp. We have tons of good iron equipment, iron greaves, iron helmet. We got all of our upgraded iron I and weapons we got the root harness that is from the abominations we got this uh, wishbone from uh, from bone mass and if you didn't kill didn't see the bone mass in the previous episode that's because uh, i have a separate video on how to kill bone mass which makes that is easier so as uh, as we did with uh, with the swamp it is all about preparation when it comes to uh, well anything here in valheim so we are going to start with bringing some things out you bring your best equipment out bring some arrows i use uh, poison arrows i've been finding those in swamps uh, and they are really handy get some healing potions get your megan yard so you can carry more stuff uh, best items and bring resources for a portal because you need it bring some frost resistance meat and uh, the wishbone because you're going to need that for detecting silver Silver is hidden in the ground, and that's uh, why we need to to have that uh, activated to find it. So we might actually activate it immediately so that we can just do that. We don't have uh, too much to carry. So I will just detect hidden things uh, in various locations. We are, even though it's kind of daylight, I think we're going to be resting. But uh, let's have a look at where I want to go. So this is my, uh, my map. I have been sailing out here, and then whenever I found a little island i just went closer and when i went to this location i saw that there was a big mountain up here so that's going to be where we are and i have a portal named one right at the edge so that's one the one we're just going to jump to uh, when we feel we're ready for it what we all we need to do now is well we need to get some food and uh, we are going to get the best food we can get sort of at this tech level uh, black soup uh, sausage and turnips so one stamina potion uh, one stamina and two uh, health oriented ones and we go to our location in our uh, portal hut and we get up here and nope that's not it it's down here it is number one number one there we go this is unnamed because sometimes you want an unnamed one and we can just go and land at that location our objective for the first day is to get up to the mountain find a uh, find some silver and then uh, make a portal to go home. And we did see that we have a mountain somewhere in here. It was more easy to see when we were sailing. So uh, let's get on in here and let's get our equipment up here. There we go. Let's run on in. So we are now made it to the foot of the mountain. We can already see up here at the top of the mountain we have going. Uh, we have a frost break up there. And uh, let's see as we go up here. We should start seeing that we are getting cold. One week, once we get into the mountain biome. And uh, the difficult part about this is actually moving up the mountain. There you go. Now it says we're freezing. That means we take constant damage. And this is why we brought our frost resist potion. Uh, as you get some, kill some stuff in here, then you will be able to get... Oh, wow. We are so lucky. We are so lucky. Okay. We start with the first, uh, first critter. That is a drake. And the way I do it is when they are sort of coming back, I shoot at them. So basically you wait, and then as they're coming back, then you line up your shot, take the shot, and poison will just deal a bit of over time. There we go. We get the frost gland, which is a food item. And we are so lucky. Look at this nest. There is a dragon egg, which is what we need for summoning the boss. We are just going to mark it as an egg, and we don't want to take it. Uh, not just yet. And we just wait for this one to come back. And then I start moving so it doesn't hit me. It doesn't do much damage when you have the frost resistance up and running. And as it dives back, we get another shot in. Ah, not enough to actually kill it in two shots, I think. So these eggs... Oh, they, it was. These eggs weigh 200 kilos. So they are... Oh, there's a wolf. Hey, look at that. Wolves... Uh, pretty easy. They are coming up to you and you can't really see their attacks. So you kind of have to sort of anticipate that they come up and then they bite you. And then look at that. There. And then you block it and then you just get a kill. One shot, two shots. Uh, I'm using my mace, but as we transition into this region, I will be using my... Uh, uh, I'll be getting a silver sword once we get some silver going. Now this is a really wonderful thing because that's 
Uh, that's, you need three of those and you need to carry them very far into, well, wherever you need them for your, uh, your boss fight. We're going to go up top uh, this. Oh, wow. We have so much junk in our inventory because we just happened to find a million trolls. Ugh. Not worth. Not worth. Okay. Let's uh, switch back to the bow and then we need to start moving up, up here. Uh, this is the hardest part. So try to sort of balance your stamina till you get up to another ledge and then just wait a bit and then move up. We're going to be moving up to the next ledge. I only have uh, six, seven minutes of the rested bonus back uh, or left again. And that's going to be just fine for now, I think. And here's a little place. This is a maybe not a bad place. Oh, hello. <laughs> Skeletons peeking out. Uh, we want to search these things because there could be a, uh, a chest. If there is a chest, they could have some onions in it. If they have some onion seeds, then uh, that is the best item you can get. Onion seeds. Woo! And also some frost arrows that we, for some reason, can't pick up. Uh, we're going to drop that and take frost arrows. Yes, that was amazing. So those onions will allow you to plant onions back home. And that is a massive boon to, uh, to, go to do that. So start your onion farming immediately when you get... Uh, when we get back, we are going to go continue and then hope that we see some silver spawning. I would have hoped that we see some silver spawning at this point. Because silver is usually spawning at the very height of the mountains. And this is about as high as we can get. Oh, look at that. There's a... Is that a summoning circle? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. It's also getting nighttime, which I don't want to be at this location in nighttime, especially because there can be Fenrings and they are really nasty during nighttime. And also, like, wolves spawn with additional stars at night, so you really don't want to be hanging out here at night. So I think we need to get home. I just really just don't like the fact that we don't see any silver. Oh, ah, uh, we have another enemy. And this one is a tough one. Uh, you can s handle it in two different ways. I'm going to start with the uh, cool way that everyone says do that. It's not so easy though. If you can get your mining pick and you can get on top of it like this. No, not like this. It hurts like hell. Yeah, I had to jump down there. Otherwise, it would just have wrecked me. Um, I need to get some stamina. If you can land on top of it, it should be, uh, it it'll be good. Yeah. I'm going to use this one for landing on top of it. Oh, man, I'm running around here without a portal nearby. And be Oh, wow, that's not happening. That is not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Can't take two of these out. And uh, not at this tech level. All right, let's tank. Yeah, that's not happening. Not happening. There's one attack you can parry. That one. That one you can parry and then go in. Rest. Nope. That one you can parry. Got it. Sweet. And we get crystals. Not just yet, but we do get crystals. Alright, you. No, that was I hate dodging in this game. It's so stupid that you have to press two buttons at once. Yep, that's just not working. Um it's gotta happen now. Got it. That was easy. All right. <clears throat> the whole idea of jumping on top of him is a uh, non-issue or non-starter for uh, almost everything here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be running around now and just getting everything that is valuable. And then we're going to make a portal and get the hell out of here. Get that one out. Got it. Oh, and that's a fen ring. Fuck. That is not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go away. Yeah, don't go here at night. That's that's the uh, number one rule of uh, of this area. Don't be here at night. Um, the Fenring, I don't know where you are. So uh, I just need to get the hell away. Second attempt at approaching the mountains. This time we are going to get in there in the daylight. 
and we're still freezing a little bit and we have our egg here that we found on our first journey in and we're just gonna make it all the way to the top again now what do we see there well okay not you go away there that is a cave entrance that's one of the new frost caves they are tough i really wanted to get some silver items before we got that but i uh, guess that's not an option so we are probably going to go in there just don't really feel super confident about it i just want to find some silver first all right but we uh, we go there and we mark it on the map because that's good to know and then we can come back and clear that my that uh, a bit later oh look at that that's actually planes right there whoa all right so i've been roaming and it's almost night time we are back here with the cave and uh, i have made a portal called cave because i have one at home called cave so that i'm uh, i'm ready to go into this cave when i feel like it but i don't have a lot of rested left i don't have a lot of frost resistance and it's night time so this is not the right time to do that and i also want to find some silver first so we're going to be uh, going back and resting and then finding somewhere else where i can show you how to mine some silver and then we'll be uh, coming back and finishing up with the uh, with the cave so i've now found another set of mountains and we are just roaming here we need to top up on the various buffs there we go and in two minutes and 30 seconds we also need to top on our frost resist now you can see that there's a little ping around us <clears throat> and if we move around we should be seeing that the ping either gets stronger or like more frequent or less frequent getting a little more frequent yeah right that's a bit less this is a lot a bit less this is hot so we just start digging where we think it's the hottest, uh, the, the most frequent, most persistent signal, we just start digging because somewhere down here, we will have a silver mine. And look at that, we found it right there, silver vein, right below. As soon as you tap it once, it stops pinging, which is convenient. And now I'm going to show you how to uh, to find the silver mine because if you start chopping the silver mine, it's basically a little. Uh, try uh, three-pointed star i guess and that is uh, uh, it takes forever to get to chop them down and uh, there is a cool way that you can do it uh, hopefully it works almost it works 100 percent of the time 60 percent of the time or something along the lines uh, it's it's a pretty cool thing where you can knock down the whole thing by undermining it and that's uh, basically the strategy you can do that with all sorts of uh, things but it works the best with silver so uh, we're going to be undermining this one. Uh, we are going to start by making a portal because that's going to be uh, necessary for us to come back at here. And in case something goes wrong, then we'll do that. And I have uh, prepared a name called MT2, Mountain 2. Not MT, but Mountain 2. And then we just start hacking away for our heart's content. And you can see that this is actually, oh, looks like this is the middle of it, I guess. Now we have the moment of truth. We have uncovered the entirety of the silver vein. There's nothing below it and it is just free floating in the air. And if we're lucky, uh, then as we tap it here in the middle, then it'll completely crumble because it's not supported. There's a little chance because this is close to the bedrock that it won't do that, but um, let's wish for it. Wish me luck. Yes, that lay lag is just brilliant. And there we go. We've just mined the whole thing. So instead of tapping the actual silver mine hundreds of times, you tap the earth, which is a lot easier to to uh, to tap. You tap that uh, a few times. And where is our portal? Hmm. Yeah, I should have built a portal. I did build a portal. Oh, there it is. The portal is here. So this is where we're going to go up. And we are going to go... Uh, nope. We are going to just drop off our stuff here. And I will just make a little box if i can i can yes i'll make a little box for since we can't really get our silver back home uh, we are going to put it in a box so it doesn't despawn and have it with a all the other things and we just uh, need to grab it here so when all is said and done this one gave us exactly 90 and yeah about 100 is uh, is what i would say you could expect from one of these and from here on then you just uh, 
reactivate the wishbone, find the next one, and continue to do that for a long time. Once you've done that, then it's time for us to find a way to get those back. Unfortunately, that is not through a portal, but we can at least take our stone back through the portal. Uh, that is, uh, I would recommend that you, uh, if you're not using a mod for it, which I think by this by, by this time, I think they should get rid of the, the dog teleport metals. Uh, that being said, if you uh, don't do that, then uh, gather up as much as possible, drag it, to, throw it down the mountain and drag it to a ship and then uh, ship it uh, back home. So now you've somehow managed to get all of the stuff home and uh, we have a nice little mount here. We can carry those 30 silver. And this is something you just repeat many times over and uh, just feed it in here. You can get another. The way I do this is since I have three of those, I can take exactly 30. So that means one stack can be processed at a time. And then I continuously just throw in some wood into here. Do I even have enough wood to fill these up? And in here, just keep this going. This is kind of one of those perpetual things that you just have to get in the habit of, of doing when you're home. Just set that up, come back next day, do the next, do the another round again. So let's grab some finished silver. That sh should be enough for us right now. And then we'll just slowly sweat our way over to our workshop where we can uh, start looking at what we want to produce with our newfound amount of silver. And yes, as you can see, I have spent a little more time than uh, for this video just to make enough uh, silver for us to, to work with. Uh, I also have a few silver items that I am uh, happily, proudly wearing. Uh, the silver sword, really good. I like it. It has a nice wishing sound and it works really well. It's slashing. It's nice. But sometimes you or if you're continuing to run around in this in the mountains, you need to have a maze because those golems, they don't care about the uh, things that are not. Yeah. Then the most important thing to make is the fur coat because it gives you resistant versus frost. That means you don't no longer need potions to get in there. Then I also brought my made myself a wolf armor chest as well and it gives us a little bit more uh, potion here um i would like to get the helmet but when we are going into the, the caves as will be the next thing we want to do we can't use the helmet. well we can use the helmet but i'd rather have the light helmet on so the only thing i can do really to upgrade my equipment is to make the silver greaves uh, here the iron upgrade the iron greaves into silver greaves so this goes from 20 to 24 26 that's a probably an okay upgrade get that upgraded and let's see wolf yeah. oh we need bananas uh, so we get silver fur and some bananas do we have bananas here no we don't all right let me go grab some bananas for us all right we got what we need we can now make the wolf armor legs we got silver we got wolf pelts and we got the uh, peeled bananas so that is good we will be making that and then the most important thing is don't click the same thing again when you want to upgrade it. you have to click over to the upgrade i can't believe how many times i made that mistake uh, clearly too many times and we are going to do there you can also do a few upgrades now that you have the this uh, these items and let's see you'll be over here and that will be very fancy uh, our wolf grief that is now up to 26 armor that's a little better can we get better wolf cloak uh, it, i would think that we could get an upgrade to our wolf cloak if we uh, ask nicely wolf cloak yes we can there we go that's using a little bit of silver Ooh, wow that's a that's expensive but hey, um, it's necessary. This one is upgraded to max quality, then don't show it here. And it's also max quality. Right. So we now have the fur cloak again. And now we are up to 76 armor. That is as, uh, as powerful as we can be at this point. We are going to be putting all of these things in here for storage. Uh, also the, ban the bananas here. Cool. So uh, we are now ready to go in and uh, have a look at... Oh, I'm actually going to have to do this part because i want the light light on in there so we're going to be ready for going in for a, a journey into the caves as the final thing as the final thing we want to do in uh, in the mountain area all right final part of the puzzle we are ready to head into this location and just as i do that i realize that there is one thing i'd like to have in here and that is a um uh, that is a fireplace. It's very nice to have a fireplace in here because it'll actually help us a lot with getting rid of that stupid uh, buff there and also get us a rested debuff, a rested buff if we need it. 
So let's go in, go on in to our first journey into the frost caves. As we slash here, then we get started. So there are a number of different uh, critters to take care of here, and we're just gonna go like that. And I can make another one. Good. So this would just should take care of our wetness. That is good. It'll also allow us to become rested if we want to. So um, in here we have that's a door, kind of. That's also a door, and then we can see where we have the location. We've already found that, luckily. And we have another door here. Uh, the great thing about this location is that you find glass or crystals. So the, previously the only way to get crystals was farming the golems, which was really tough and annoying. But uh, now we can actually do it uh, in these caves and that's really nice. There are three enemies in here. Uh, the first one we'll encounter will be bats. They are just mildly annoying and nothing more than that. I think we got them now. No? They're right here. There's the bats. And they are just... Um, they're just annoying. They're not dangerous. Come on. We just need to... There. So take him out and move on. The next one we have is called an ulf. It's a wolf. It's kind of a werewolf thing. And as always with these kind of things, I am going to try to go always left. That's so tempting. Anyway, we're going to go left. And we're going to clean the whole thing out. Okay, so when you find one of these altars, take the Fenris Claw on top. That is important. That is for crafting. Unfortunately, nothing else in here. Hmm. Disappointing. There we go. The other way. Oh. Well, we have to go left first. That's the door. And that is nothing. Ancient cave marking. Interesting. Nope. No flashing. What? That was... Oh. There was nothing there. All right. Moving on to the last path that we have. Hopefully that will give us something interesting. And now we come into sort of from the outer caves into the first inside area. And we should have a lots of things in here. Let's see. Where are you? Nothing. Uh, this here on the ground. Nope, nothing. These things. They'll give us giblets and stuff like that. Uh, the curtains. Take those out. There's a, There are wolves there. And a cultist. Cultists are pain in the ass. They are really dangerous. So it, it, the fact that we can actually get a sneak attack on a, on a cultist would be insanely amazing. Oh, this is almost cheating. Because you can't move past because there's a wolf in the way. Right, here they come. They deal fire damage like that. And and maybe get out of the fire. Yeah, so basically don't stand in fire. They had this added red jute. Uh, the root red jute is um, it's a cloth product that we can use for crafting. Uh, bone fragments, stuff like that. Uh, here, nothing. Continue to move forward there. And uh, there we go. These are the old, old. Uh, the how? They're not tough. They're about as normal as, as a normal wolf. But um, timing them is a bit difficult. And is that? That looks like they're here, right? Uh, yep, that was it. I just prefer killing them. And with a good silver weapon, they just die in pretty much a single hit. And we just take some garbage loot here. I mean, we want to do clean sweep of everything, so meat piles. Great meat piles indeed. And if we come in here, this is kind of the center altar of uh, what they have. And there's a Fenris ring and a Fenris claw here. We can shoot down this one and we can take all of this. This is Fenris here, which you can use to get a separate new type of weapon or a new type of equipment. And then uh, you can actually get this one down as well by shooting it. Which will give us yet another little bit more. So what basically, that is what uh, what these caves are like. They're a small dungeon. They are about the same size as a burial crypt. 
and they have these three enemies in they have the bats they are super easy they have uh, uh, the, the wolf they are also pretty easy and then they have uh, lastly oh do we didn't go in here no 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 um then they also have uh, the cultists which are kind of more dangerous than any of the other ones. Look at that. We're not done. We are not done. That's great. All right. Let's wait for the stamina to go back up and see what we have in here. Nothing. <laughs> well, that's a lot of useless, uh, useless stuff. And anything over here? Nope. Nothing. You can also just wreck these and get a little bit of coal out of it, sometimes a bronze, but nothing major there. Alright, that was a dead end. So, with that, uh, I think that we've shown everything except for the motor boss, which uh, I do have a boss guide for. So, uh, if you want to check out my boss guide for motor, then uh, th I'll be linking that in the description. And Well, not in the description, but in the cards in the top right-hand corner. And then you can uh, check that out at your own leisure to how we kill the boss. Ooh, look at that. Carvings, ancient cave carvings, nice. Oh, by the way, and I'm, I'm also completely lost, but I think that's it's up here. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Remember, I am streaming uh, this on uh, Twitch once in a while, uh, a couple of times a week. So uh, do come on over to Twitch TV slash Nilaus if you want to join in and uh, be part of the sort of the design and work process here. We're also going to be doing. We're getting into the planes now, and we are also going to get into uh, to sort of working more on our on our build uh, on our. What's it called? Yeah, uh, on our uh, city, on the city block city. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.